Good evening. As you know, earlier today, the United States Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. Now the matter of abortion law and policy has been returned to the people of each state. My purpose tonight is not to debate the merits of this decision. There'll be plenty of time to do this in the days and weeks ahead. But I have two reasons for talking with you tonight. First, I think it's important that as we discuss the abortion issue, we in Ohio do it in a civil way and recognize that there are people of goodwill on both sides who have strongly and honestly held beliefs. Second, I wanna talk about the work that needs to be done to better support children and families and the common ground that we as Ohioans share. My fellow Ohioans, I fully understand that the Supreme Court's decision today is deeply troubling to many of you. Those of you who are pro-choice believe this is a matter of freedom and this is a decision only the woman can make. Those who are pro-life, including my wife, Fran, and me, believe that the life of a human being is at stake, and we have an obligation to protect that innocent life. Now, we all have friends and others close to us whom we respect and who are on different sides of this issue. But whether you're pro-life or pro-choice, Republican or Democrat, we all need to be kind and civil and respect one another as we debate this issue. As the issue of abortion returns to the states, how we debate it is so very important. It's going to be very easy to let this debate get rough and tough, and there's certainly nothing wrong with spirited debate. However, we must do it in a way that recognizes that smart, sincere, dedicated, and caring people can have very, very different and equally heartfelt views. The First Amendment right of freedom of speech and those who choose to exercise that right must be respected, must be protected. And at the same time, even though Ohioans may disagree with each other on the issue of abortion, I do believe there's common ground and essential goals that Ohioans share when it comes to children and families. I believe that all, all Ohioans want this state to be the most pro-family, pro-child state in the country. And we are making great progress in creating an environment here in Ohio where families and children can thrive and live up to their full potential. Though we've made progress, we agree that we must do even more to lower our infant and maternal mortality, especially among African-American mothers and babies. We all agree that no mother or child should go hungry or not have adequate housing. We all agree that no child in this state should suffer the devastating effects of toxic lead paint. And we agree that all Ohio children must have access to good mental health services. Here in Ohio, we're doing more than ever to make sure that our youngest, most vulnerable children get the best possible start in life. We've doubled our investment in Ohio's voluntary home visiting programs. Where trained professionals meet regularly with new and expectant moms and dads to teach valuable parenting skills. And through our bold beginning initiative, Ohio is already investing more than a billion dollars to provide prenatal care, parenting classes, mentoring, education, and nutrition assistance to pregnant mothers and their families. But there's so much more to be done, so much work that remains. And so today I ask you, my fellow Ohioans, to work together with me to focus on these issues and commit ourselves to the health and success of Ohio families. As part of that commitment, I've directed our state health and human service agencies to bring me innovative new ideas for ensuring that vulnerable mothers are immediately identified and always taken care of and receive the best help that they need. In the weeks ahead, I'll be working with the General Assembly and our local communities to improve the quality of pre and postnatal care, to increase the frequency of maternal depression screenings, and to expand mental health resources for women who experience miscarriages. We'll be working on efforts to increase awareness about adoption, to ensure that every child finds a permanent loving home and family. And we will seek to expand healthcare coverage to more mothers and children, so that no child in Ohio goes without regular primary care doctor visits, preventive care, and childhood vaccinations. My fellow Ohioans, I ask you tonight to pull together. Let's have our debate about abortion. Let's do it civilly. 
let us respect each other and let us concede that the other side is sincere in their beliefs. But no matter which side we're on in that debate, let us remember that we are in the words of former Congressman and civil rights leader, John Lewis, and I quote, one people with one family, we all live in the same house. And like any family, while we may disagree vehemently on some things, we can still find common ground in other things. And so let us now find that common ground, roll up our sleeves, dig deep, join together in solving the problems that we all agree must be solved. Thank you very much. Have a good evening.